Hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the two different ways that you can earn an entire bachelor's degree in as little as six months, an entire master's degree in as little as three additional months, which is ridiculous. But there's two different ways to do this. One is called degree by examination, usually through third party exam services. And the second strategy is by testing out of classes through highly respected universities that have competency-based education programs. I'm gonna walk you through both strategies so that you know which is going to be best for you so that you can earn your college degree faster. If you don't know anything about this channel, I earned my entire bachelor's degree in just nine months. My name's Ryan. Now I teach people like you how to do the same, graduate faster, save a whole bunch of money on tuition. If that sounds good, like the video and subscribe to the channel and you'll see more videos just like this. Let's jump right in. We're going to go straight to my computer screen and talk about the first strategy. This strategy is called degree by examination. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking college exams through third party exam services. And I'm going to walk you through these services and then you're earning college credits through these third party services and you're transferring them over to universities that allow you to transfer a high amount of college credits. And then basically you're earning your degree after you transfer the credits over to the university. So that's kind of how it works in a nutshell. I'm going to walk you through the pros and cons. This is a third party resource resource called CLEP. Okay. CLEP exams, if you haven't heard of them, essentially this third party service, you go to clep.collegeboard.org, you purchase college exams and you take the exams. Once you've taken the exams, you can transfer those exams over to some universities that allow these types of transfer credits. Essentially what you're doing, we'll go to exams, exam topics, you're literally just looking through their database and you find an exam that you need to take for your college degree. Principles of macroeconomics or microeconomics or math or science or English. You literally just go to their website, you buy a $90 exam, and if you pass, you can then transfer that credit over to a college or university that you want to graduate from. That's kind of how it works. Um, there's another this is getting a lot more popular, but it's called Sophia.org. Uh, essentially, you go in, you look at what courses you need. Let's say you're getting a business degree and you need a financial accounting class. You're going to go through here. You pay a monthly fee and you go through the class on their website instead of through the university. You're going to do some homework assignments, some quizzes, maybe write some small essays and take an exam and if you get a passing grade in this class, you can then transfer this class over to a university that you want to graduate from. This one's called Sophia.org. Another one very similar to Sophia, um, it's called study.com. Study.com has probably the biggest variety of different classes and exams that you can take but you literally just search through courses. Let's say you're getting a business degree. As you can see, they have 100 or 704 courses for business degrees. So you go through all these courses, you basically view the lessons, take the quizzes, take the exams, and basically take the, the class from state.com's website instead of through the university. Um, the last one I want to talk about is kind of the big main ones. The last one I want to talk about is called straighter line. It's really similar to those, but with this strategy, you're essentially taking classes or exams through third party services or through third party websites. And then once you've completed them, you transfer them over to get your college degree I guess it's, it's credit towards your college degree at whatever school you're going to choose. Now there are pros and cons to this strategy and I'll walk you through both, but let's go through the other strategy really quickly and then we'll compare them together and I'll teach you which one is going to be better, a better fit for your situation. So the next strategy is called competency-based education. It's pretty similar 
to degree by examination, as in you're going to be just testing out of classes and taking exams and proving that you have knowledge in a certain topic. But instead of doing it through third party resources or third party companies, you're going to be taking these exams and accelerating your classes through universities themselves. Okay. Now one university, I'm going to show you a handful. One that I love is called Western Governors University. Okay. You literally, they've got a business school, an IT school, a health and nursing school, a teaching school, bachelor's and master's degrees. You go find a degree that you want to earn. And it's very similar to a traditional university environment. They have, um, teachers and tutors and textbooks and quizzes and study guides and lesson plans and all the, the resources of a normal school. But the difference is you don't have to go through the coursework to get credit for the class. If you have or gain the knowledge to pass an exam, you can literally skip everything, go straight to the exam. And if you pass the exam, you get credit for the class. The cool thing about this it doesn't matter if you complete your exam for a class in four hours or four days or four weeks or four months. It's all the same. If you finish an entire college course in four hours, that's it. You're done with that college class forever and you're going to move on to the next class. So you can accelerate degrees really, really quickly. Um, six months is absolutely doable. I did it myself in nine months with a full-time job, with a wife and children to support and take care of. So you can do this really, really quickly. Now, another school um, that I really like, University of Massachusetts Global, okay? This is the University of Massachusetts, essentially wanted an online program globally for anyone in the world. Um, so they established their, this is basically their online branch run by the same company as University of Massachusetts. So you're getting the same quality education, but for cheaper and you're doing it online, but they have a variety of different degrees. We're going to go to explore degrees here. And as you can see here, they have online programs, they have hybrid programs, and they have online self-paced programs. So what you're going to want to do is search for their self-paced programs and boom, all these different self-paced my path programs, you can accelerate these. You can earn, basically earn these degrees way, way faster. And there's a huge variety to choose from. Um, another is going to be University of Wisconsin, their flexible option. Okay. The University of Wisconsin has some online programs that are competency based, which means if you prove to the school that you have this knowledge in your mind, you can take exams and do assignments and projects to prove that you have knowledge and you don't have to read the textbooks or sit through lectures or anything like that. But we go through programs and they've got a handful of different programs here that you can accelerate. Another school that allows this is called Purdue University Global. It's essentially Purdue University wanted an online branch, just like UMass Global that I just showed you. Purdue University wanted an online branch for the entire world. So they took their curriculum and all their basically teachings, created an online program. And now you can basically study Purdue University materials for cheaper and faster. Now, if we go to degrees and programs, you're essentially just going to search through their programs. We'll use business as an example. As you can see here, they have right here, business administration degrees. They have a bachelor's of science in business administration, and they also have an Excel track bachelor's of science in business administration. So they have multiple programs for each type of degree. These Excel track programs are competency based. You can accelerate and do them at your own pace. Okay. So when you're searching Purdue global, you want to look at their Excel track programs. Another one is Capella university. They have what they call flex path. So they have traditional programs and flex path programs. You'll essentially search for a degree. We'll use business for an example, go to this bachelor's of science and business page. And as you can see here, we'll scroll down and they offer flex path 
or their competency-based program for this particular degree. So you can search through all their different degrees and see if they have flex path for the degree that you're looking for. But there are lots and lots of universities that allow you to do this. Another one that I like is called University of Maine at Presque Isle. There are a lot more, but essentially like really, really good high quality universities allow you to test out of your classes. And I know that sounds scary, like testing out of classes. Here's the thing. When you think of taking an exam, you automatically assume, well, I have to have the knowledge to pass this exam. Well, what I teach a method called degree hacking is essentially you find out what's going to be on the exam, then you learn it, then you take the exam and you can do it really, really quickly. Most people that work with me will go through like an entire college class every single week, sometimes an entire college class in a matter of hours. So you can find out what you're going to be tested on learn those things, take the exam, get a college class, and you're churning through classes so much faster than traditionally. So you're doing it really quickly instead of sitting in a classroom for four entire months, attending lectures, reading textbooks, doing homework assignments. Like we can skip all that and just learn what we need to learn and prove to the school that we have the knowledge and move on to the next class. That is competency-based education in a nutshell. Now I've gone through two different tactics and they're both, they both have similarities, but they're definitely different approaches to getting a college degree in a matter of months. Okay. The first you're purchasing exams from third party services and then transferring them over to universities that will accept them. The second you're kind of doing the same thing. You're taking, you're learning what you need to learn and taking the exams, but you're doing it through like a highly accredited universities. Okay. Now in my personal opinion, I highly prefer taking the exams through universities, testing out of your college classes through highly accredited universities. There are a couple of reasons for this. And by the way, degree by examination, there are situations where these resources are absolutely amazing and you should take advantage of them. Okay. But with competency-based education programs, there are a couple things that I like. Number one, you can earn these degrees from higher respected universities, like very highly respected universities. When you're trying to do third-party exams for entire degrees, you're really limiting what universities you can graduate from because most highly accredited universities have caps on how many transfer credits they'll accept from third party resources. So you'll hear a lot of people talk about um, like Thomas Edison State University or Excelsior or a handful of others that really just have very, very, I guess, lax policies with what they'll accept for transfer credits. And that is a valid strategy for getting college degrees. In my opinion, I prefer getting degrees from better schools, but using the same process. Another thing is when, when you transfer all your credits over that shows up on your transcripts and then your transcripts look pretty sloppy. You got X amount of credits from this resource and X amount of credits from this and this and this. And if you're using four or five different third-party exam resources, boom, that shows through on your transcripts as well. Now, another thing I like about competency-based education is you can do it for cheaper. And let me explain, because it doesn't make any sense that it's cheaper to graduate through like doing all the work through an actual university instead of like just these cheap courses you can buy or cheap exam services, you can just purchase exams online. Here's what I mean when I say that. When you're taking third-party exams, you're paying for those third-party exams out of pocket. So if you're paying $90 an exam, or if you're paying $100 a month for a program like Sophia, you can't get any scholarships or grants to go and pay for those. Now, if you're on a tight budget, and you actually do this through universities, you can get government grants and scholarships to cover all of those costs for you. 
So you're not coming out of pocket to pay for this, okay? So that's that's a huge advantage as well. Another thing I like about competency-based education is if you get stuck on an exam or on a class, you have the school's resources at your disposal. What I mean when I say that is when you purchase an exam from a third party, if you get stuck, you're on your own and there's no one there to help you. If you're taking this exam through a university and you get stuck, you can reach out to the teacher, you can schedule an appointment with a tutor, like you have tons of resources that the school offers that's included in tuition that you can use for free. So essentially you have free help if you get stuck or need someone to give you some more direction for that particular class. So there are situations where I really, really like these third-party exam resources. Um, now, one thing, if you can't find a major that you're looking for, like a competency-based education program, the exact major that you're looking for, like sometimes the third-party exams are perfect because you can find the major you're looking for. Sometimes you're in limbo and you're not starting college for four months. What I recommend in that situation is like take some of these third-party exams while you're waiting for school to start. Take some of the easier classes and then enroll in a competency-based program and finish your degree at a competency-based program. That way you're not, because almost all colleges accept transfer credits from third-party resources, but most reputable schools have a cap for how many they'll accept. So if you're for a few months, like taking 10 or 15 classes, that's a lot easier to transfer over than four years worth of classes from third-party resources, if that makes sense. It's a lot easier to transfer a smaller amount of those than an entire degree's worth of third-party classes. Um, so that's kind of the difference between the two. Now, I do teach people how to succeed with both. It's just my personal preference to actually do this through highly respected universities instead of through just all third-party websites. But there are situations where both work. I'm just an advocate for doing it through universities. I hope that makes sense. Now, if accelerating your degree is something that sounds interesting, like going to college and doing it self-paced and spending less money, getting your degree faster, you need to learn how to do this because it's life-changing, okay? I call the process degree hacking. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave a, a video link down below in the description to what I call my degree hacking tutorial. So I've kind of walked you through both processes and different schools and different third-party resources. But if you want to learn actually how to do this, like the step-by-step, -step, um, just watch that degree hacking tutorial down in the description. And seriously, like just watching that tutorial will probably save you multiple years of time, like just watching that short video. So I hope that really helps. If you have any questions or comments, leave them um, in the comment section below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will continue to share and teach more of these principles, how to graduate college faster and how to save a whole bunch of money on tuition. Hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in the next video.